What's up, you friggin' geniuses? In this video, I'm gonna make you a little smart, okay? Because I'm gonna give you an intro into inequalities. So, what is an inequality? Well, it's simply a symbol that's used to compare two different numbers or two different quantities. So there's an equal sign, there's a does not equal sign, there is a greater than symbol, this is a less than symbol, this is a greater than or equal to, and this is a less than or equal to. Like I said, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. So what we're going to do for all these examples, I'm going to write down two numbers or two quantities, and then we're going to use one of these symbols to compare them. Okay, so it's going to make a lot more sense once we jump into these examples. Now, with the first one, if I wrote down three plus four, four and eight minus one. Which of these symbols up here would be appropriate to use to compare these two quantities? Okay, so we have, on the left side, we have three plus four, so that reduces down to seven. And here we have eight minus one, that reduces down to seven. Okay, so in this case, which sign is appropriate? The equal sign, right? So we could put an equal sign right there because seven is equal to seven, right? That's pretty obvious. So if both sides equal each other, we just use an equal sign. Okay, now let's jump to the second one, does not equal. So let's write two quantities again. If I wrote down two plus two, and I wrote down five, which symbol could I use? Well, I could use does not equal, right? I could put does not equal, because two plus two does not equal five, right? It equals four. So in this case, the does not equal sign would be appropriate. So I think those are pretty straightforward. The ones I wanna focus on mostly in this video though are gonna be those four right there. So let me give you a couple quick steps. So first of all, we're gonna write down, write down the numbers or quantities, numbers, or the quantities. I'm just gonna abbreviate. The second step is gonna be eat the bigger number. The bigger number. What does that mean? I will explain in a second. I know that makes no sense right now, but it will make complete sense in just a minute. The third step is gonna be read left to right. Okay, all these problems, we read them left to right. So the same thing when you're reading a book, when you're reading sentences, when you're reading words, we always read them left to right. All right, so this one would be three plus four is equal to eight minus one. Two plus two does not equal five, right? So I started on the left side, and then I read it to the right side. And then the fourth little step is just gonna be check your answer, just ask yourself, Ask yourself, does it make sense? When you read the expression out loud, does it make sense? So let's get into some examples. Okay, so I'm just gonna write down two numbers, seven and four. All right, so which symbol am I supposed to use? Well, let's go through our steps, right? So write down the numbers or the quantities, right? I just did that, seven and four. Okay, second step, eat the bigger number. Now, what do I mean by that? So when I say eat the bigger number, these symbols, they always looked like mouths to me, like on Pac-Man or something, right? So I remember I would just draw teeth on them. I'd just draw teeth on them. And I would pretend it was like a dinosaur or an animal or whatever. And then it was just hungry and it wanted to eat the bigger number because it's so hungry. It wants to eat the bigger number. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw it. I want to eat the bigger number. So if I want to eat the bigger number in this case, that'd be the seven, right? So I'm gonna draw it that way and draw the little teeth on it. Now, the only thing I have to figure out here is this symbol. Is this a greater than or less than symbol? Which one is it? 
Well, in order to figure that out, I'm just gonna read it left to right. So I would just think to myself, well, seven is a bigger number than four. Seven is a bigger number than four. So seven is greater than four. Boom. Okay, so I know my symbol is pointing the right way because it's eating the bigger number. And then I'm just thinking to myself a little intuitively, well, seven is a bigger number than four, so seven is greater than four. So I'd simply read this as seven is greater than four. Let's do another example. Now, if I gave you the two numbers 11 and 15, so think of your steps. Write down your two numbers, got them. So I want to eat the bigger number, right? So I'm gonna draw it this way. And if I want, you know, I could draw the little, the little teeth on them too. Now, is this symbol is that symbol a greater than or less than? Well, let's just read it left to right. Okay, so we have 11 is, well, 11 is a smaller number than 15, right? So 11 is less than 15. Now, does my answer make sense? Well, I'm eating the bigger number, so that checks out. And then this sentence, is 11 less than 15? Yes, 11 is a smaller number than 15. So that checks out. So this answer right here is simply 11 is less than 15. Okay, let's just do a couple more. Now, what if we had 11 plus seven and 20 minus one? Okay, so first step was to write down your numbers or quantities, right? So we have two quantities that we're gonna compare. But we can reduce these, right? So what's 11 plus 7? Well, that's 18. What's 20 minus 1? That's 19. Now, if I want to eat the bigger number, that means I want the symbol like that, right? Because my little teeth would theoretically be right there. So I know my symbol is correct. Good. Now, how do I read this? I read it left to right. So I'm going to say 18 is, and then am I going to say greater? Am I gonna say greater than or less than? Well, 18 is a smaller number than 19, right? So 18 is less than, less than 19. Does that make sense? Is 18 less than 19? Yes, 18 is a smaller number than 19, right? So that makes sense. So this answer right here would be 18 is less than 19. Okay, now let's cover the last two examples with the uh, or equal to symbols. Okay, so let's say the two numbers I want to compare are five and three. Now, you could use a greater than or less than symbol, but for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna say those aren't options and you're only allowed to use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Okay, so these work exactly the same as the greater than or less than symbols. The only extra thing is that there's also this equal to symbol that they both have. So in this case, let's just follow the same procedure we were before. So again, we're trying to eat the bigger number, right? We wrote down our two numbers, now we wanna eat the bigger number. So we're gonna write it going this way. Our little teeth on there, okay. And this little line beneath it, that means equal to. Now we're gonna read this left to right, right? So five is, now is this gonna be greater than or less than? Well, five is bigger than three, right? So five is greater than three. So we'll get rid of the less. So five is greater than, now the only extra thing we're gonna write here is five is greater than or equal to. Okay, that's what this little bar at the bottom means, e or equal to. Three. Okay, so is five greater than or equal to three? Well, this or basically gives us an option, right? It can either be bigger than three or it can equal three. So is five bigger than three or equal to three? Well, yeah, five is bigger than three. So this checks out. 
Okay, so five is greater than or equal to three. Okay, here's another example. What if I had two nines? Okay, so first step again, right? Just write down your numbers, done. Now we want to eat the bigger number. Well, in this case, there is no bigger number, right? Because these are the same number, they're equal to each other. So it doesn't matter if we write it like that or if we write it the other way, okay? Because both of these work in both situations, okay? So for example, if I wrote out this first one, so if I wrote nine is greater than or equal to nine, this is a true statement. So here I'm saying that there's two options. It's either greater than or it's equal to. Well, in this case, it's equal to. Nine is equal to nine. And it works in this case as well, right? Because in this case, I would write nine is less than or equal to nine, right? So that or equal to saves us in both situations. That makes both of these true statements. Okay, and last one for good measure, if we had let's say 10 and 12. Okay, so remember, first step, write down your two numbers. Second step, eat the bigger number. Okay, so we wanna eat the bigger number. And in this case, we're gonna include that equal sign. Now, we're reading it from left to right. Okay, so we're gonna write this 10 first, right? So 10 is, and then is this gonna be greater than or less than? Well, 10 is a smaller number than 12, so 10 is less than or equal to 12. And then we're gonna check it. 10 is less than or equal to 12. Well, 10 is not equal to 12, right? But it is less than 12, so that checks out. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna cover is just if you're just given the symbol and you're asked to determine what it's called. Okay, so if, for example, if I just gave you that symbol, what is this symbol called? Is this a greater than symbol or a less than symbol? Well, just remember, these want to eat the bigger number, right? So if I drew my little teeth on here, okay, that means the bigger number would be on this side. Here's the big number. And then the smaller number would be on this side. Okay, so then how would I read this? I would read this left to right. So I'd say the big number is greater than, is greater than the small number. Small number, okay? So that means this symbol is a greater than symbol. Okay, what if I gave you this symbol? What would that mean? Well. Remember, it wants to eat the bigger number. So I would just draw the little teeth on there, and then I'd say, okay, well, then the big number must be on this side. And then the smaller number must be on this side. Now, how do I read this? Left to right. Okay, so I would say the small number is, well, the small number must be less than the big number. It must be smaller than the big number, right? So the small number is less than the big number. So this symbol must mean less than. And then the exact same logic applies when you see the, the or equal to, or equal to, okay? So the only difference here would be, well, here, let's do this one first. The big number is greater than or equal to the small number. All right, so that was your basic introduction into inequalities. If you found the video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. But if you still got any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below, and I will try and help you out with those. There's a pre-algebra playlist at the end of this video, so if there's anything else you need to check out, definitely check it out, and I'll see you there.